But these are the latest visuals that are coming in right now. It's return of KJ George as a Karnataka minister. KJ George has been re-inducted in Sidharamaya's cabinet. He had to leave uh, Sidharamaya's uh, government after there were allegations that he had assisted Deputy SP Ganapati's suicide. There was a video message that was uh, left by Deputy SP Ganapati uh, blaming him and two other police officers for his suicide. He said uh, that he was harassed. Uh, by KJ George, following which there was a CID probe launched. There was a massive opposition as well, after which KJ George stepped down as a minister from Sidharamaya's cabinet. But now he is back sworn in after what the state government has said is a clean chit by the CID after a probe. We have Roini who is joining us on this story. Now, Roini, even as we see that there was a clean chit given to KJ George, the opposition is claiming it's just an eye wash because uh, the matter should have been referred to the CBI. Well, what we can see is that uh, DYSP Ganapati's family has approached and said that they would like an investigation by the CBI and also 10 days were given by the Medicare court to the family of Ganapati to file any objections on the CID report. CID had given a B report to uh, KJ George and two other senior police officers, but this is after the investigation that took place. Uh, KJ George in his defense also used to say when we used to talk to him and ask him about his involvement saying that he hardly knew DYSP Ganapati. Rather, when he was a home minister, there were certain references that were made of certain cases against him and he had been suspended for a while. It was George who actually gave him a new posting in Bengaluru and after which there were certain other cases that were filed against him. So, uh, George said that there was no case of harassment that could actually be built against him, uh, but he, he stepped down from the ministry because the pressure that was being mounted by the opposition. Now, we are seeing that he's reinducted the cabinet and it's a huge move he'll be the 34th cabinet minister and no more cabinet ministers can be actually added anymore this is complete so the Ramayas government uh, cabinet ministry is complete but at the same time KJ George coming back as Bangalore minister holds a lot of importance because he's one of the most powerful politicians that we have seen in Sidharamaya's cabinet. And a very close confidant of Sidharamaya as well but how does Sidharamaya plan to tackle the opposition Roini because uh, uh, as I said they've been claiming that it's been an eye wash of a pro. See, it's, it's a little uh, difficult at this point of time for the opposition only to, uh, the fact that only they can cry foul for the for, for a while now because the CID after detailed investigations have come out with a B report. Now the only way it can be reopened is if a CBI inquiry is put in place. Now that the family is also looking at and opposition is backing the family at this point of time. So right now the ball is in the CBI's court. Once the case uh, application is filed, based on those details we'll get to understand whether there's a direct involvement or not. All right, Roini, thanks for joining us. Keep coming back to you for more updates. Uh, another big news coming in at this moment.